Okay, before we jump into today's video, I want to give a quick shout out to Mike Passarelli for making a donation to the channel with buying me a cup of coffee. I'll leave the QR code here on the screen if anybody else wants to support the channel. QR code's here on the screen. If you guys choose not to, that's fine. There's a free and easy way to do it. Just hit that like, share, and subscribe button. All right, with all that out of the way, let's hop into the video. Okay, so I know what you must be thinking right off the get-go. A polymer 1911, that thing's got to be a piece of junk. But let me tell you something, guys, it's not. I've had this gun for close to 10 years. What an awesome firearm. And we're going to talk about that once we hop down on the bench. But let me just put this into context for you guys. Uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of guns out there, a lot of these 2011s, and some of them do have a partial polymer frame, but mainly they're aluminum and other lightweight materials. But this particular gun, the whole frame is polymer. It's just, it's, it's like a Glock and a 1911 had a baby. I've done videos on this in the past, but I just thought this was a great firearm to revisit. So we're going to hop down the bench and we're going to talk about it. Okay, so here we are with the American Tactical FHX 45 in polymer. This thing is a fantastic firearm, guys. All right, first things first, let's make safe. Take the mag out. Slide back. There's nothing in the chamber. First thing, let's take a look at this trigger while we got it ready to go here. Hardly any take up on the trigger. Do you see that little movement? That's it. That's the take up and you're already at the wall. Then there's the brake. Now watch the reset on this. I'm going to barely move my finger. That's it. It's already reset. Just this trigger on this thing is fantastic. I've had high end guns that didn't have a trigger as good as this one. Skeletonized trigger, skeletonized hammer. It's got lightning cuts in the slide. It's cut for an optic. It's chambered out right here for it to lighten the slide. This gun weighs next to nothing. My KDS 9C Kimber I just bought, this thing is way lighter than that. This is a full-size government 1911. The only thing I did to this gun was put the Archangel grips on it. They have the built-in mag well, speed well here. That's all I did. Frame on this is nice because it has these finger choils. You get a really nice, nice purchase on this. You got the fiber optic sight up front, which I like. Again, it's cut for an optic, but I run this gun iron sight, guys, because I'm so used to shooting 1911s in the platform, and with this being a five-inch barrel, government size, it's it's pretty easy for me to shoot. So I just ran this thing iron sight since I got it. Never put a red dot on it, but I have got into red dots as of late, and I think I am going to put a red dot on this. I do have a light for this as well. I, I usually have my stream light on it because this is usually my bedside gun because I shoot this gun so well. I've got thousands of rounds through this thing. And look at the slide on this. There is no movement in this top slide. I don't know how they did this with a polymer frame and, and just the fit and finish of this thing. I think I paid like 600 bucks for this thing almost 10 years ago. And I'll tell you what, I've had a ton of 1911s in my stable. I've sold Kimbers. I've sold Springfield Armories. I've, I've had, had it all, guys. Uh, Dan Wessons. And I mean, I put this with any of them. That's why this is still in my stable. I will not get rid of this. I've gotten rid of high-end 1911s before I got rid of this because this gun is just, it's too good of a gun. Between the weight of it and how it shoots and what I paid for it, I, I don't think I'll ever get rid of this gun. And again, even with a 10-round mag in here, it really weighs nothing. It just, it's incredible. You'd have to really experience this, guys. If you ever see one of these in the shop, I highly suggest you take a look at it and probably take it home with you because you could probably pick this thing up used for maybe three, 400 bucks. Um, I, they are making them still a Moxie, the version. It's, a, it's the shorter Commander version, which is pretty cool. If I had a chance to get the Commander size, that'd be my carry gun for sure. I mean, I, I do carry this gun occasionally, but again, it's a full size 1911 and it's just, they're just so big to carry. Even though this weighs nothing, I can conceal this. I made a holster for this. I made an in waistband and an outer waistband and it's, it's really lightweight. That's not the issue. It's just the size. I'm a little guy uh, with a chunky body. So <laughs> this is kind of, kind of hard to carry, but great gun. Nevertheless, I mean, I've got thousands of rounds for this gun and it's just the fit and finish on it for what it is, guys, this thing should have been a piece of trash. This should have been hot garbage out of the box. I mean, a lot of people probably don't know about it because they've never seen them or, you know, never got a chance to get their hands on one. But I seen this in my shop years ago and I held it and I was like, wow, this thing is light. And the price was fine. I was there picking up another 1911 and nine millimeter. So I ended up going home with two guns that day. I bought this gun and the nine millimeter 1911. So just a great gun overall for a polymer 1911. I mean, I know some of these 2011s they have, some of them have like a polymer frame on it. I get it. But that's a 2011. This is a 1911. Single stack. Uh, I know it's, you know, the, the 2011 thing is a new game right now. But this gun, I'll tell you what, guys, is just a fantastic gun. I can't, I just, I can't say enough about it because every time I take this thing to the range and shoot it, I'm just blown away on the accuracy and the performance of this gun. Trigger, like I said, again, look at this trigger. Barely any take up on there at all. I'm barely moving that. 
That's the wall already. Boom. And then the reset on it again. I barely move my finger and it's reset. My Kimber doesn't reset as good as this gun does. Takedown on this is standard. You got your plunger, same takedown as, you know, standard 1911. Take the slide off, do your cleaning, your maintenance, put it back together. Uh, I believe it runs a Delta point and it's cut for a Delta point and an RMR. So you can put either of those on there or you could buy plates and put whatever you want on it. They, it does not have suppressor height sights to co-witness. So you may want to change those if you were to put a, a optic on it. So once I do do that, I probably will change the sights. But again, I'm probably going to get a red dot for this for sure because Again, this is pretty much a bedside gun for me, so I'll probably throw the dot on it. I do have, like I said, the stream light for it, so the light usually lives on it once it, when it's in the uh, by the bed in the nightstand. So again, this is a bedside gun for me, and uh, it's a range gun for me. I take it to the range and, and practice with it a lot because again, 1911 is one of my favorite platforms. It's got a nice check ring back here. This is all. This is actually metal on the mainspring housing, and then the rest of it is, is uh, polymer. But nice check ring there, and these finger trails are really nice. It's undercut. So your hand gets under there nice. You get a really nice high purchase into that beaver tail. You can run your finger up front like that. It's got uh, jimping up front in front of the trigger guard. And it's just so comfortable in the hand. This gun is just fantastic. This like this thing was just made to shoot. I mean, you just shoot rounds and rounds and rounds or competitions. With it. It's just the ergonomics on this for me, it's a home run. It's a 10 out of, it's a 10 out of a 10 for me. This FX, FXH45 from American Tactical is just an awesome 1911. Polymer 1911 that weighs next to nothing in a government full-size gun. Awesome gun. Can't say enough. I want to revisit this gun and, and do another quick video on it, a little update, because I did shoot this gun last week again. And again, I'm just blown away every time I take it to the range on how accurate this thing is. I was shooting my gun with my red dot, and I'm getting pretty good with the dot, doing well. But pick this thing up, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. It's just like you don't have to think about it. it. Just It points so natural and shoots so true. Just an awesome gun. All right, so that was a quick look at the American Tactical FHX 45 Polymer 1911. This thing will be in my collection until I pass it down to my kids. All right, you guys got any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments section below. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next one.